morning, Mrs. Goggins. There's a lot of parcels today. Aye, pet. But it's all art supplies for the school and a few wee letters. Art supplies, eh? I always loved art at school. Oh, really? Yes, but not much call for artists in Greendale. Oh, I don't know. Oh, don't forget these letters. Bye, Pat. Cheerio, Mrs Goggins. Now, everyone, as you know, this afternoon all your mums and dads will be coming to school to look at your schoolwork. <gasps> Morning, Jeff. I've got your art supplies. Hello, Pat. Why, you're just in time. Come on, everyone. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Oh. 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 Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle, why don't we do a special picture? What kind of picture, Sarah? Like the best thing that's happened to us all year. Yeah? Or the most fun? Or the most exciting? Brilliant! Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic! Good idea, Sarah. Ooh, what are you going to paint, Sarah? It's a secret. Oh. Right. Come on, everyone. Let's get started. I'll be going then, Jeff. See you later. Hmm. The most exciting thing that happened all year. I wonder what we'd choose, eh, Jess? How about when we got stuck in the woods and had to camp overnight? Or that time you got stuck in the runaway kite? Yes, that was exciting, wasn't it? Is everything OK, Sarah? No, sir. My picture keeps going all wrong. Well, why don't you try a different sort of picture? How'd you be? Well, look. The twins are doing a collage. Oh. What's that? We're sticking things onto the paper to make a picture. Like cotton wool and things. This is looking great, you two. Is it a picture of you sledging? That's right, sir. Because the most exciting thing that happened to us was when Pat rescued us from the ice. We were sledging and our sledge went too far. I was really scared. Me too. But then Pat came to rescue us. He was really brave. Thank goodness for Pat. So that's what our picture is all about. But I don't know what to use for the pond. How about this paper? It's all shibbery, like water. That's perfect. Thanks, Sarah. I think you're right, sir. Maybe a collage would be good. <laughs> morning, Reverend. Oh, good morning, Pat. There we go. My, is this all the post? Yes, it's very quiet today. Tell me, Reverend, what did you like best about last year? Mm, well, I, I really don't know. I enjoyed playing the music for the circus. That was fun. <laughs> yes, wasn't it? Come on, Jess. Stop playing with that bird. Bye, Reverend. Bye, Pat. Oh, stupid collage. Everything all right, Sarah? No, sir. I don't know what to draw. Oh, I'm sure it's not that bad. Tis. Well, why don't you think about something that makes you happy and paint that? 
I mean, look at Bill. I'm doing a picture of when me and Pat were clowns. It was really exciting. <laughs> Everybody came to see us. <laughs> and being clowns were brilliant. <laughs> I want to be a clown when I grow up. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You were very funny. Oh, no! I've run out of purple. I can't finish it now. We can make purple. All you need is some red paint, add some blue, mix them together, and there you go. Purple. That's brilliant, Sarah. Thanks. Oops! Ugh. Morning, Ajay. Hello, Nisha. Here's your post. Thanks, Pat. Hello, Pat. Busy day? No, I've hardly delivered anything apart from some art supplies for the school. The children are drawing the best thing that's happened to them this year. I know what Mira would draw. Me too. Our, Our new, new house. house. The children have been so happy since we've moved here. We all are. Aren't we, Nikhil? <laughs> Yes, that was definitely a good day. I'm still trying to decide what I'd choose. It's easy. It's the Greendale rocket every time. Isn't it, love? Yes, Ajay. You and that train. Well, I'd better get on. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye Pat. Pat. <laughs> Hello. What's this? Kids... Art Supplies, Greendale Primary School, Greendale. Whoops! Looks like I missed a parcel for the school. I better take it over right now. <laughs> Not much time left now. You need to start thinking about finishing your pictures. Is that the Greendale rocket? Yeah, it's my favourite thing. Really? Why? Well, because. I found her. And I helped to paint the station. And best of all, I got to drive her. But there's something missing. I know what. You need smoke. Cool. Thanks, Sarah. Come on, everyone. It's packing up time. Bring your pictures over here if they're finished. I have a demon started. Well done, everyone. These are really excellent. Sarah helped, sir. I wouldn't have been able to finish it without her. She helped us too, sir. Did she? Well done, Sarah. You've been very helpful today. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Hello, Pat. Back again? Yes, I found another parcel for you in the van. Here you are. Uh, my hands are a bit full. Can you unwrap it for us, Sarah? It's felt-tip pens, in shiny colours. Those are grand. You could make a lovely picture using those, Sarah. Hmm, spots. I think I've got an idea, sir. Looks like that's done the trick. Poor Sarah's been wondering what to paint all day. <laughs> Goodness me, Charlie. What's that? It's the Greendale Bubble Monster. Do you remember? Oh, how could I forget? I've always wanted to see men from outer space. And then, when we saw one, it was brilliant. Except it turned out to be Ted. <laughs> Poor old Ted. I don't think he liked being the bubble monster much. Do you know, Charlie, I think I've had an idea for a painting. You don't mind, do you, Jeff? Why, no, Pat. Be my guest. Here you are, sir. I've finished. Goodness me, Sarah. That was quick. Let's have a look. 
This looks like everyone's got chicken pox. That's right, sir. Well, I don't understand. How can that be your favourite time, Sarah? Well, you said I was helpful. And I like chicken pox best because I helped people. Don't forget to gargle. Sarah Gilbertson says, don't forget to gargle. Sarah Gilbertson says, don't forget to gargle. And everyone got better. I'm going to be a doctor when I grow up, just like Bob. <laughs> well done, Sarah. Right, everyone, home time. See you all later with your parents. Can I go and play at Mirrors, Dad? Yes, of course you can. I'll pick you up later. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Bye. Uh, don't worry about that, Jeff. Why, are you sure, Pat? Yes, I've got an idea. Well, OK, then. See you later, Pat. Bye, Jeff. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Parents' Evening. I'm sure you'll all enjoy looking at the children's work. Where are the paintings we did today, sir? I want to show Mum. Me too. Uh, well, I'm not quite sure. I can explain, Jeff. I spent a lot of time today trying to think what would be my favourite thing in Greendale. And then I realised... <gasps> wow! That's my painting! And my rocket picture! Oh! 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 Blow me! But what's it supposed to be? It's a map of Greendale, Sarah. With all the pictures everyone did today. I don't understand, Pat. This is my perfect painting. A painting of Greendale. Oh! <laughs> Dad! Dad! Mr Pringles let me bring the school guinea pig home. Everybody wanted to look after Dotty, but Mr Pringles said I could take care of her. Well, well. Hello, Dotty the guinea pig. <laughs> That's not very nice, Jess. Dotty's our weekend guest. Let's put Dotty's cage over here. There you are. Mira is coming to play with you tomorrow, Dotty. Settle down in your basket, Jess, and leave Dotty in peace. Ah! Dad! Dotty's gone! Gone? Oh, no, the cage door's open. Oh, what am I going to tell Mr Pringle? She must be somewhere. I was supposed to be looking after her. Don't worry, Julian. Dotty! <coughs> Dotty! Oh. We're sure to find her. Dotty! Dotty! Dotty, where are Dottie. you? Dotty! Come on, come on, Dotty. <coughs> I'm sorry, Julian. I have to go. I've got the post to deliver. But, but Dad, what if we can't find Dotty? It'll be all right, Julian. Dotty's bound to turn up when she gets hungry. 
Pat, don't forget your snack. Thanks, Sarah. I'll enjoy that later. Meow. Have a nice time with Mira, Julian. We were going to play with Dotty. Come on. Let's go and have another look for her. Meow. <laughs> You're keen to get started this morning, Jess. Yes. You know you've got to sit still while I'm driving. Morning, Pat. Good morning, Arthur. Come on, Jess. Let's see how Mrs Goggins is this morning. <laughs> you are keen, Jess. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, what's that you're knitting? Oh, morning, Pat. It's a scarf for the Reverend. I've nearly finished. Oh, I do hope he likes it. I'm sure he'll love it, Mrs. Goggins. Hey? <coughs> what on earth? <coughs> Jess? <coughs> Jess! Get into that, wee Jess. Huh? Um, have I dropped a stitch, Pet? Uh, no, no. I was just, I was just admiring your handiwork, Mrs. Goggins. Hi, Julian. Where's Dotty? She's gone, Mira. Gone. Where? She got out of her cage last night. We've searched all the rooms downstairs and now we're going to look upstairs. Come on, Julian, I'll help. And maybe Dottie's hiding in your bedroom. Hi, Pat. How's Dotty? Uh, she was fine the last time I saw her, Katie. Is Julian giving her all her favourite food? Uh, uh, I think so, Tom. Morning, Julia. Here's your post. Oh, thanks, Pat. The twins and I have been busy sorting out the attic this morning. We found Granny's old fur hat and stole. Seems a pity to throw them out. Why don't you ask Mr Pringle if he'd like them for the school dressing up box? Oh, that's a good idea, Pat. <coughs> Mum! Look at Gran's furry hat! nothing inside it. But it was moving, Mum. Maybe the wind blew it down the path. I suppose it could have been the wind. She's not in my toy box. Maybe she crawled under your bed. Dotty! Hello! Are you there? Poor Dotty. I bet she's getting hungry. 
<sighs> Time for our morning break, Jess. Hmm. I could just do with a biscuit. Hey, Jess. Where are you going? <laughs> Jess, come and sit up here with me. <laughs> this is nice, <laughs> Jess. A bit of peace and quiet at last. <laughs> That's Dotty. <laughs> it can't be Dotty. <laughs> can it? <laughs> come on, Jess. Let's get her back. Meow. Oh, gotcha, Dotty. Meow. A mitten? Meow. <laughs> this isn't Dotty at all. So where's she gone? Oh, well, never mind. Let's have our snack, Jess. What? Who's eaten my apple? And where's my biscuit? Dottie's not upstairs, Mum. We've looked everywhere. Oh, dear. Where can she be? Maybe she's outside. Let's go and look in the garden. What, Divika? Oh, Nisha, you do spoil me. And there's a slice of your favourite ginger cake. What bliss. Won't you join me? Oh, I'd love to, Vika. But I've got so much to do this morning. Morning, Nisha. <gasps> Morning, Reverend. Hello, Pat. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, yes, please. After the morning I've had, I love a cup of tea. There you go, Pat. Thanks, Nisha. Had a busy morning, have you, Pat? <laughs> you could say that. <sighs> can you see what I can see? I can see the tea cosy moving across the table, Pat. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Quiet, Jess. You'll scare her. Ah, gone again. You know what was in here, don't you, Jess? I know it was Dotty, Jess, but where is she now? What am I going to tell everybody at school, Mira? We'll find her. She's got to be somewhere. Come on, Jess. <laughs> yes, I'm glad to be home too, Jess. Oh, Dad, we still haven't found Dotty. We've looked everywhere for her. We looked upstairs and downstairs. They even searched in the garden. Oh, dear. I thought I saw her in the station cafe just now. Really? But how could she have got there? I <laughs> don't know. It's been a very peculiar day. <gasps> I'm seeing things. Oh! You're not seeing things and neither am I. That's Dotty. Dotty! <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> That tickles. Oh. Huh? <laughs> 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 
You stay here with me. Where is she? Where's she gone? She's here, Julia. Hello, Dotty. Do you want your dinner? There you are. She's very hungry. I wonder where she's been all day. <laughs> I know exactly where she's been all day. <laughs> and so does Jess. Hello, Ted. Parcel for you. Menu store. Thanks, Bart. So, have you finished the plans for the children's playground, then? I'm afraid not, Ted. And I wanted to bring something really special to the meeting tonight. Trouble is, everyone's giving me different ideas. Oh, you'll see what you mean. And we can't start building till we know what we're making. Don't worry. I'll think of something. Bye, Ted. Right you are, Pat. Bye. So, who can tell me what this is? A dinosaur. a dinosaur, Mr Pringle. A diplodocus. That's right. And what do you know about dinosaurs? They've got big feet and big teeth. And big drooling mouths. And they lay eggs. <laughs> Dinosaurs lived a long time ago, but now all that's left of them are old bones and fossils. What's a fossil, Mr Pringle? Fossils are what's left of animals and plants buried for so long that the ground has turned to stone around them. I found all these in the village. Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle, did you find any dinosaur bones? <laughs> well, no, but there were once dinosaurs walking the fields of Greendale. Dinosaurs in Greendale. <laughs> Keep a lookout for fossils while you're out playing. It's amazing what you find if you keep your eyes open. No, that won't work. Why don't we why don't we go on a fossil hunt? Yeah, maybe we'll find real dinosaur bones. Yeah, I love dinosaurs. Rah! Rah! Hmm. Dinosaurs. Let's meet at my house tomorrow morning. Bye! Yes, that would work. Hmm. Yes, Ted will be pleased. Hey, Dad, we're going on a dinosaur hunt. Dad! Oh, uh, sorry, Julian. Yes, let's get you home. Come on then, Pat. Show us what you've done. By heck, a climbing frame in the shape of a dinosaur. <laughs> That's genius, that is. We'll need somewhere to put it all together, though. Alf says we can use his barn. If we all get cracking first thing, we can have it finished by tomorrow night. Have you got any rope, Ted? Hmm, not enough to make that. I believe we have some old bell ropes in the church tower. We could use those. Maybe you'd like to help me, my dear. Good thinking, Reverend. And Alf's got an old slide he said we can use. So, everyone who agrees on the design say aye. 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 Wow. And remember, not a word to the children. It'll be a real surprise. Don't forget your drawing, Pat. Oh, yes. Thanks, love. Ready for your fossil hunt, children? Yes, thank you, Mrs Clifton. <laughs> Mind you don't meet any dinosaurs. Where shall we start? Let's try the field by the station first. <laughs> Now, mm, round this way a bit for the head, I reckon. Hey, up, Pat. Thought I'd have a bit of a practice. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Ted. I've got the drawing here to copy from. 
That's the slide, here's the rope climbing frame, and here's the shape for the dinosaur. Right -o. You draw it on and I'll do the cutting. Well done, Ted. Let's get them onto your truck. Nay, Pat. Me truck's bust. We'll have to use your van. What about these? Fossils! Wow! Look! Lucy's found one! That's great. I wish we could find a dinosaur burn, though. Oh, it's no use, Ted. They won't fit. We'll have to carry them to Alf's. Uh, all right, Pat. At least it's not far. <sighs> Come on, Jess. <sighs> hey, Pat, it's the children. Mm -hmm. Quick, Ted, this way. Mm. of dinosaur yet. Look! What's this? A picture of a dinosaur. It's a bit like a stegosaurus, only fatter. And that looks like a cage. And a net. What does it mean? Maybe someone else is looking for dinosaurs. Oh! oh. oh. Not far now. Here is the glue and the tiles you asked for, Pat. Thanks, Ajay. Those are just the thing for dinosaur teeth. Can you bring them to Thompson Ground, Ajay? We've got our hands a bit full. Oh, I'm sorry, Ted. I promised Nisha I'll look after Gaff. Not to worry. We can stick them on here. Come on, Ted. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all put together. Look lively then, Pat. Righto. We don't want the children seeing anything before it's finished. OK. Up she goes. There. All finished. Excellent. Let's take it over to Thompson Ground. Pat and Ted should be ready for us by now. Ah, hello, children. Hello, Reverend. We're looking for dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, eh? Good thing we've got a net, then. Shh! Come along, Reverend. That's funny. You were right, Mira. The grown-ups are hunting a dinosaur. <gasps> hey, what's this? It looks like a tooth. A big tooth. Ah! Uh. Uh, it's sticky. Almost like drool. Drool? <gasps> dinosaur drool. How can you have dinosaur drool if there aren't any live dinosaurs? <gasps> Look! Wow! A real live dinosaur! <gasps> but, but there aren't any dinosaurs in Greendale now. My dad said so. <gasps> We're all ready for you, Pat. Ooh. <sighs> right. Let's get to work. Hey, 
that's grand. We'd better cover it up in case the children see it. Good idea, Pat. The dinosaur's vanished. OK, everyone, come on. Ready, everyone? Aye. 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 Tricky business dinosaur transportation. I'd better check the regulations. We don't know about regulations. We'd be lucky to transport it at all. It's that heavy. Somewhere. What's that? Look! It's coming this way. So, uh, present and correct. Ooh, come on, let's go and tell everyone it's ready. Hey, I can't wait to see the children's faces. for our surprise. <laughs> you can't keep much a secret for long round here. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> a real Greendale dinosaur, just for us. <laughs> Whee! Yes, your very own Greendale-asaurus. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> I hope this fundraising idea of yours works. It will, Mrs. Goggins. It will. We must find a way to mend the school roof. <coughs> right. <coughs> That's the last of them. I'd better be going. Cheerio, Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio, Pat. Good luck. Whoops. Almost forgot. <coughs> Oh, dear. We haven't raised nearly enough money to fix the roof. We still need this much to reach our target. But we cannot leave the roof like this. We am running out of cups. <coughs> what we need now is a miracle. Oh, Pat. Hello, everyone. I've got a great idea to raise that extra money. How about a sponsored job swap? Job swap? How does that work, then? Easy. I've got everyone's jobs written down in this hat. 
all you have to do is pick one out, and then everyone else in the village will pay you to do that job for the day. That's a brilliant oh, idea. Good idea. Good idea. Terrific. Why don't you pick first, Reverend? Um... Farmer? Who oh, I've got your job for the day, Alf. Uh, a teacher, eh? <laughs> well, I'm sure I'll be able to teach those kids a thing or two, eh, Jeff? Your turn, Ted. My act looks like I'm working in the cafe. That should be a doddle. Um, I'll choose for us, Sarah. Oh, we've got Ted's job for the day. Oh. What would you be doing today, Ted? I was just about to decorate Dr Gilbertson's living room. That sounds like fun. School's about to start. Time for us to get to work. Come on, Alf. Me too. I'll have to be off on my rounds. I'll pop in on you all later and see how you're getting on. Here you are, Reverend. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Now, which way up does this go? Hmm. So, I need to move those sheep into that field. Sounds easy enough. Ah, lovely fresh air. I could get used to this. Well, oh, bless my soul. Where did all the sheep go? Uh, hello, children. I'm going to be teaching you today, and our first lesson is going to be maths. Oh. <laughs> well, here goes. If you have five sheep and you take three away, um, how many sheep do you have left? Sir, that's too easy. Two, sir. Oh, oh, right. Uh, um, uh, 40 sheep. Mm. Uh, and 20 cows. <sighs> Take away four sheep. And two pigs. Uh, what does that add up to? A fab, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Me sheep aren't this much trouble. It's a bit early for choir practice, Jess. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> I don't think he should be in here. Do you, Jess? We'll have to find Reverend Timms. He's looking after the sheep today. Jess? Oh, no. Get out of there, you naughty sheep. <laughs> he won't budge. We'll have to take him with us. Oh, you're doing a grand job there, Ted. I'll have everything working like clockwork in no time. Oh? Aye, I reckon Nisha and Sarah got this cafe like all wrong. What we need here is a production line to serve all the customers. Well, Ted, you're certainly earning my sponsorship money and a bit extra, too. Ah, uh, very much. There you go. Keep up the good work, Ted. I'm only sorry I'm missing out on all the fun. I'd love to swap jobs, but we can't have Greendale without a doctor. Or a policeman. OK, that wouldn't do. Shame, though. I've always fancied making cakes. Or make a lovely cream sponge. Oh, cream. Now, that's just what this scone needs. How's that? It turns all by itself. Very impressive, Ted.
<laughs> Hello, everyone. Grand day, isn't it? It certainly is, Pat. Cup of tea, please, Ted. It's on its way. We better take cover. Oh. Oh. Be with you in a sec, Pat. Thanks, Ted. Uh, how's it going? Oh, it's grand, Pat. My production line idea means I've always got plenty of tea ready for customers. Customers? What customers? My echo didn't think of that. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't think this tea is quite right, Ted. <laughs> Hey, I must have mixed the salt and the sugar up. <sighs> Maybe running a cafe isn't quite so easy after all. Let's hope Nisha and Sarah are getting along better with your decorating. Oh, dear. I do hope so. Well, I'd better get on with my rounds. Cheerio, everyone. Bye, Pat. <laughs> Cheerio, Pat. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, dear, Jess. Something tells me nothing's going to be straightforward today. This isn't so hard, is it, Nisha? No, I think we're doing a great job. We've definitely deserved a break. What a good idea. Well, would you look at that? Oh, dear. That doesn't look right at all. This sandwich is a bit chewy, huh? Oh, yuck! A wallpaper sandwich! Oh, who on earth could that be? <gasps> Where did the door go? Oh, uh, come in! Oh! Meow. Oh, hello, Pat. Hello. How's it going? Meow. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Jess. Looks like we should stick to the cafe from now on. Hmm, yes, maybe wallpapering isn't quite your thing. <coughs> Aha! I've got you now. <coughs> How in heaven does Alf manage? Now, children. For games, we're all going to pretend to be sheep. Huh? Eh? When I blow my special sheep dog whistle, you need to follow my instructions. I'd forgotten about the sheep. Oh, well. Climb in, Jess. We'll have to go and find Reverend Tim's. <laughs> this doesn't look good, Jess. <laughs> We're gathered here today in the middle of the road. Out you get, then. You might as well join your friends. Pat! Thank goodness you're here. I can't get them to go back to their field. Don't worry, Reverend. We'll give you a hand. Come on, Jess. Let's get these sheep moving. Come on, sheep. Shoo! Shoo! I think I'll stick to tending my usual flock from now on. I'm exhausted. <laughs> C 
Come on, Reverend. I'll give you a lift back to the school hall. We can collect your well-deserved sponsor money on the way. I'd just like to thank everyone for taking part in our sponsored job swap. I think we'd all agree that it's proved quite a challenge. Aye, I think I'll stick to what I know best from now on. That cafe lark is a lot harder than it looks. And we've got more paint and wallpaper on us than the walls. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Ted. Too true. The grass isn't always greener. Especially when there are sheep on it. Oh, <laughs> Reverend. Sheep are a lot less bother than a classroom full of children, that's for sure. I've finished adding up the sponsor money. Now let's see if all the effort has been worth it. <laughs> Where well, we've done it. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Well done, everyone. I think you're all very clever. And thanks to you, the roof won't be leaking any more. What's all this then, Mrs Goggins? Well, this one has the station address on it. Must be for Adji. Hmm, PC Selby. I wonder what's inside. It sounds quite solid. Hmm, not like this one for the Reverend. It's all squidgy. Well, I'd better be going if I'm going to deliver this lot. Ah, you're in for a busy day, right enough. And there are these for the Thompsons as well. Right you are, Mrs Goggins. <laughs> oh, oh, be careful, Pat. Sorry, Dr Gilbertson. Yeah, I'll get the door. Oops. Alf Thompson's letters. I think I'll do those first. Jess not with you today? No. He's with Julian and Mira. They're putting up a tent in the garden to play in. Oh, camping. That sounds like fun. <laughs> yes, they're very excited about it. Good luck with all those parcels. Thanks. Bye, Dr Gilbertson. Bye, Pat. Mum says we can have a picnic in the tent when we put it up. Oh, cool. I'm hungry. Hmm. There are lots of bits. OK, Mira, let's put the canvas on the pole. You hold that end and I'll take hold of this bit. Ow! Don't we need the other poles? <laughs> Let's put all the poles together first. Good idea. And don't touch anything this time, Jess. Meow. <laughs> Hello, Alf. Come right in, Pat. Uh, I'm just feeding Rosie. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. <laughs> she does like her food, does Rosie. Um, I say, Alf. By heck, the gate. Look lively, Pat. There's no stopping her if she gets out. Have you seen Rosie? Oh, she's not got out again. Uh, she has that. Come on, Pat. Best check the barn. Now, but a hey, there she is. Oh no, she's eating the post. Rosie. <laughs> oh no, she's chewed the labels off. Oh, I am sorry, Pat. 
She had one of Bill's socks last week. Oh, now let me see. Uh, oh, dear. Reverend Tim's, I think. So this one's for P.C. Selby. <laughs> hey, dear. By gum, she's too quick for me. Gone clean off down the road into the village. We'll catch her up in the van. We can look for Rosie while I deliver these. Aye, right, Dill. Oh. This one goes into this one. And this one joins on the end. It's meant to look like that. Look, Jess has found the instructions. Ah. Rosie! Rosie! I can't see her, can you, Pat? No, but she can't have gone far. Ah, oh, there's the Reverend. I can give him his parcel. Morning, Reverend Timms. A parcel for you. Hello, Pat. A parcel? How lovely. Now, let me see. It was this one, I think. My sister did say she'd wrap them up well. What happened here? Alf's goat, I'm afraid. Hi, Rosie. She's got out again. You haven't seen her, have you? No, but I've been out here all morning, looking after my... my geraniums. It looks like they've been chewed off. Hey, I'm right sorry, Reverend. We'd better find Rosie before she eats anything else. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> there she is. Rosie! <laughs> Come on, Elf. Goodbye, Reverend. Uh, sorry about your flowers. Who not to worry, Pat? Seek and ye shall find. Rosie! That's more like it. Hey? <coughs> Ow! Oh! Oh! Now then, one pair of special parade trousers. Check. One police shirt. Check. Two socks. Check. All present and correct. Hello again, Pat. Delivered all those parcels yet? Not yet, Doctor. You haven't seen a goat come by, have you? No. Is it missing? You should report it to P.C. Selby. That's a good idea. I'll tell him when I deliver his parcel. Come on, Alf. Rosie! Rosie! Oh. oh, dear. You haven't seen a goat, have you? A goat, is it? Well, if I catch that goat of yours, it's in a lot of trouble. What's the matter, Arthur? It's eaten my trousers, that's what. They look all right to me. Not those trousers. These, my special parade trousers. Just washed. Why, ex, sorry, Arthur. Maybe Dorothy can mend them for you. Thieving washing from a respectable washing line. Hmm, arrestable offence, that. No, nah, you can't arrest Rosie, Arthur. She's a goat. No, uh, not this one. Um... Yes, I think this one's his. Parcel for you, Arthur. Thanks, Pat. Oh, what happened here? I'm afraid Rosie chewed all the labels off. <laughs> there she is now. Rosie! Oh, right you are. Uh, bye, Arthur. Oi! What about my trousers? Rosie! 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 Oh, oh, oh. Phew. Oh, 
done. Well done, you two. That looks great. Sandwiches are inside if you're ready for your picnic. Yes, please, Mrs Clifton. I'm starving. Thanks, Mum. It's no use. We've driven all round the village. Don't worry, Alf. We'll find her. I'll just give Ajay his parcel while we're here. Right you are, Pat. Oh, good. I were hoping it were you. I'm waiting for a new sign for the left luggage office. They told me it should be coming today. This doesn't feel like a sign. Oh! Hey, what's she doing here? Rosie! Slowly now. We don't want to scare her again. Pajamas. Mmm, I'm hungry. Is that everything? Nearly. Just lemonade and sausages to go. Meow. Look, she's left a trail. It's going towards your house, Pat. Hey, someone's eaten our picnic. Who's in the tent? It must be Jess. <coughs> no, here's Jess. Have you seen Rosie, love? Rosie? Maybe in the garden. Someone's taken our picnic. Rosie. Rosie. Here you are, Pat. I've been looking all over for you. You've given me the wrong... My sign. My pyjamas. My helmet. Oh, dear. Sorry, everyone. It was Rosie eating all the labels, you see. I must have got in a muddle. Hey. What's that? There's something in our tent. Careful, Pat. By gum, Rosie. Better get you back in the pen. Trouble is how to get you home. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Can I borrow your sign? Right up, Pat. Now, I just need your trousers, Arthur. Well, or don't. Come on, Arthur. Pat knows what he's doing. Quickly! Here they come! <laughs> well done, Pat. Nice one, Dad. Come on, Alf. Last delivery of the day. Let's get Rosie home. Well, it's not every day I get to deliver a goat. Oh, dear, Pat. All the trouble Rosie's caused. Not to worry, Dorothy. It's worked out all right in the end. Maybe we should have a picnic for everyone to say sorry. That's a great idea. All this goat chasing has made me hungry. Mm. This is better than the picnic we were going to have in the garden. Mmm, delicious cake. Perhaps Rosie should get out more often. I don't think Rosie will be getting out again in a hurry. She's got a special police guard. Watch out, Arthur. <laughs> oh, no! Me helmet! <laughs> Come on, Dad! I'm coming. Oh, dear. There we go. Good morning, Mrs Goggins. Good 
Good morning, Julian. Good morning, Pat. Mo morning, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, Pat. Are you all right? You don't look too good. I'm fine. Just a bit out of breath, that's all. I've been cycling. Oh, I see. I'm helping Dad train, Mrs. Goggins. We're playing five-a-side football later. Oh, that sounds like fun. I think I'll come along to cheer you all on. Oh, I could bring you all a wee snack for half time. That would be grand, Mrs. Goggins. Brilliant! Can I go down to the field to practice with Charlie? Of course you can. Thanks, Dad. See you at the game. Bye, Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio, Julian. Now then, Pat, I've got your post bag all ready for you. I'll just put these last few letters in. Oh! Oh, dear. Mm, there's a lot more post than I thought. I'm going to have to deliver these double quick if I'm going to get to the football in time. Hi, Pat. You don't want to miss that. See you later, Mrs. Goggins. Bye, Pat. Good luck. Oh. Meow. Oh, dear. We're not going to get very far in this, are we? Meow. Meow. Come on, Jess. In you get. We'll have to deliver the post by bicycle today. I hope we'll be finished in time for the football match, Jess. Wee! Come on, Charlie. Let's get started. Yes, in a minute, Dad. Hello, Mr. Pringle. Hi, Charlie. Hello, Julian. Are you going to get some football practice in? Yeah, I can't wait for the game later. Uh, what, what are you doing, Charlie? Shouldn't you be practising? I am, I am. I, I'm working out the angles of the ball. What for? So that we know the correct angle to kick the ball in order to score a goal. It's a precise spot, you know. Right. Here, Julian, why don't you have a kick about while I make some goal posts? There. These bags will do for now. Come on, Julian. Give it your best shot. This cycling lark isn't as bad as I thought. But I'll need to go faster if I'm going to get all this post delivered in time. Hold on, Jess. Watch out, Pat! Ah! Oh. oh, my goodness. Are you OK, Pat? Oh, yes, I think so. Oh, no. My letters. Oh, poor Jess. Are you OK? I'm so sorry. I was in such a hurry I didn't look where I was going. It's OK. I'm just pleased you're not hurt. You see, I'm trying to get finished so that I can make it to the football game in time. That's where we're going, too. Come on, Pat. We'll help you pick up the letter so you can get going again. Which side do you think the ball will go? Oh, hold on, Dada. I, I, I'll just work it out. Oh. Yes! Go! That side. <laughs> Sorry. Clifton! 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 Jess! Good save, Pat. Thanks. That was close. I'm sorry Ooh. I gave you both such a fright. See, I'm helping Dad get fit for the football game. Hello, Pat. <laughs> Hello there, Arthur. Dad, you're slacking. <laughs> this whistle is great. What? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. <laughs> Up we go. Down again. Ooh. Right up. 
<laughs> oh, dear. Maybe the whistle wasn't such a good idea after all. I don't think I'm cut out for all this running around. Hmm. But with all your police training, bet you'd make a great referee. Yeah, referee. Now that sounds more like it. Julian and Charlie are practising down at the field. Why don't you go and join them? Thanks, Pat, I will. See you later, Dad. So what position will you be playing, Pat? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't mind as long as I get there in time. Oh, thank you. I'd better be off. Cheerio. Cheerio, Pat. What's it? Oh, 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 Dad! Oh. Oh. Ow! Oh. 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 oh, Dad, stop it! We are sorry about that. Whoops! Dad! Whoops, sorry, Charlie. Hi, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hi, everyone. What's that you've brought? My dad's traffic cones. I thought we could use them to practice dribbling the ball. Perhaps now Dad won't keep knocking me over. Ah, we. I'm not that bad. Come on, then. Let's set them out. Now. Where did I put mission pads and goalposts? Oh dear. How on earth am I going to get through all those sheep? My beach ball! So that's where it went. Amazing, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, thanks. Uh, 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 oh, Charlie! Hold on, I'll just be a minute. If I put that one like that. Come on, Charlie. That one like that. I want to have a go too. Yeah, we haven't got all day. I have to make sure they're the right distance apart. Oh, dear. We're running out of time, Jess. The game will be starting soon. <coughs> oh, there's nobody here. Where could they be? <coughs> ah, there they are. I'll have to catch them. This letter might be important. Oh, no. A flat tyre. That's all I need. Sit tight, Jess. Nisha, your post. Oh, thank you, Pat. You're welcome. Wow, Mum! Look at Pat go! Oh, Jess, I think delivering post is turning out to be a lot more tiring than a game of football. <coughs> Come on, everyone. Time to split into teams. Uh, OK. Um, let's see. Dr Gilbertson, Sarah, Lucy, Charlie and Jeff. You can be in one team. And, uh, Nisha, Mira... Bill and Julian, you can be in the other. But where's Dad? We can't start without him. <laughs> oh, dear. It's too late now, Jess. They'll have to start the game without me. Aww. Right, then. <clears throat> Dr Gilbertson, I need you to keep an eye on Julian. Right, or Charlie. And Sarah and Lucy... Watch out for me going wide to pass the ball. Yeah, OK, okay. Charlie. And, Dad, you've got to stop the ball from going into the net. OK, son. Is everyone ready? 
Uh, not yet. Uh, we need to do our warm up exercises first. Uh, mm. Oh, Ooh, come on, Dad. Where are you? Come on, Jess. We can do it. Mrs. Goggins. Ooh, well, I never. Dad! You made it! <laughs> I said I would, didn't I? It's a good game. Well played. We couldn't have done it without Dad. Yes, Pat. When did you learn to play like that? <laughs> Delivering the post today turned out to be the best football training I could have had. Definitely. You were the best. Mrs. Goggins. See you later. Whew. Come on, Jess. I reckon it's going to be another hot day. I'm bored. You can help me wash the Greendale rocket if you like. No, thanks. Morning, Nisha. Morning, Ajay. Hi, Pat. Can't stop, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. Someone looks fed up. Mira's bored, Pat. She says she's got nothing to do. Julian's just the same. Never mind, Mira. I've got something to cheer you up. A postcard! Uh, for me? On it. It's from Cousin Sanjay. Ah, he's at the seaside. Look at that bat. Sun, sand. Can we go to the seaside, Mum? What? You and Dad have been working hard all summer and I've got nothing to do. Let's go to the seaside. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Problem, Ted? You could say that, Arthur. Well, that sand can't stay there, Ted. It makes the place look untidy. I know. Question is, how are we going to move it? I'm sorry, Mira. The seaside's too far to go for just one day. Oh! Never mind, Mira. I'm sure you'll find something else to do. Come on, Jess. Let's get back to work. Meow. 
Bye, Nisha. Bye, Pat. Cheerio. What's this? A sad face on a sunny day? That's not allowed. Meera wants to go to the seaside, but I've explained that it's too far. Who needs the seaside? There are lots of lovely places to visit around Greendale. How about a family picnic instead? Poor Meera. I wish there was something we could do to help. Hello, what's going on here? Problem, Ted? Aye, Pat. We're trying to move this sun. Only pack. Yeah. <laughs> You'll not move much sand like that, Arthur. What else can we do? Good idea, Jess. Hurry up, love. Coming, Ajay. Green Rabbit wanted to come on the picnic, too. <laughs> right, then. Let's go. <laughs> That's it. Fill them up. We'll have that sand shifted in no time. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that, Pat. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the Reverend can help us. Are we nearly there yet, Dad? Come on, Ajay. Where are we going? It's a surprise. Come on. Thanks, Reverend. You know me, Pat. Ask and ye shall receive. I say, you've forgotten the shovel. Pat! Here we are. Thompson Ground. The perfect place for a family picnic. Oh, it's lovely, Ajay. What's that noise? I can't hear anything. Nor me. It's getting louder. Hello there. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> That's the lot. Ready, Ted? Ready as I'll ever be. Careful now, Pat. I can't bear to watch. Nearly there. Oh. No. Now what? Listen. That's Dr. Gilbertson vacuuming the surgery. That's it. But she's a very clean woman, is Dr. Gilbertson. I'm sorry I gave you a fright, but I'm afraid you can't have your picnic here. Didn't you see the beehives? <laughs> We're building a proper stand for them when Ted Glenn gets here with the sand. Why don't you go up to Greendale Farm instead? That's a lovely spot for a picnic. What do you think, everybody? Greendale Farm? This vacuum cleaner should do it. We'll use it to suck up all the sand and then blow it back into the truck. Good idea, Pat. Are you sure it'll work? Of course it'll work. Dr. Gilbertson says it's a bit temperamental, but it should do the job. Just watch. Hi, Dad. Hello. What are you two doing here? I'm just taking Julian round to play at Charlie's. It's boring at home. Not another one who's bored. Lucy's been driving me up the wall all day. Mira's the same. She was desperate to go to the seaside this morning. If only there was something they could all do together. 
Maybe there is, Mum. Come on. Uh, Julian! Right then, everybody. Back to work. At last. Oh, I thought we'd never make it. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but all that walking's made me more hungry. Uh, Dad? Hi. Look behind you, Ajay. And to the sides. That's right, Charlie. I'll see you there. Oh, and don't forget to bring a bucket and spade. Oh, and tell Tom and Katie as well. What's going on, Julian? I'll tell you later, Mum. Lucy? Hi, it's Julian. Go! You sheep? Shoo! 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 Go away! Dad! Don't worry, Mera. Everything's under control. Shoo! Shoo! Go away, I say! Oh, bow to you too. Are you all right, Dad? Of course. I'm absolutely fine. Shoo! 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 Oh, it's no good, Ajay. I can't eat with all these sheep looking at me. We'll have to go somewhere else. It certainly seems to be doing the job, Pat. What? I said it certainly seems to be doing the job. What? He said... <coughs> Looks like we're going to have to use my helmet after all. There's no sheep. Let's just hope nothing else goes wrong, hmm? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Are you okay, Dad? If somebody could just help me with this. Dad! <coughs> the backpack! Oh dear. A picnic! Never mind, Pat. These things are sent to try us. Yes, and some of them try us more than others. Hello? What's going on here? Julian? I've brought some friends to play, Dad. Come on, everyone, dig in! <laughs> <laughs> Julian! Hooray! 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 Yeah! I'm sorry, Mira. Our day hasn't turned out too well, has it? The picnic's ruined, I'm afraid. Is there anything you like to do instead, love? No, thanks, Dad. Let's just go home. <sighs> <laughs> this is loads better than being stuck indoors. It's like being at the seaside. Mira wanted to go to the seaside today. I've got an idea. Meow. Not far now, Nisha. This must be the most tiring day out ever. Listen. Oh, whatever's that? Something's happening in Greendale. Come on. Here, everyone. The guests of honour have arrived. Oh! Yay! Yay! Well, 
what do you think of Greendale on Sea? It's wonderful, Pat, but this isn't all for us, is it? Why not? You wanted to go to the seaside, didn't you? Yes. Well, if the Baines can't go to the seaside, the seaside must come to the Baines. And Dorothy and I have decided the children can keep the sand. So I'm going to build them a proper sand pit. So we'll never be bored again. Oh, look out! Watch out. That's me helmet. <coughs> Come on. Thanks, Pat. This is the best day out ever. Hooray! Mrs. Goggins. The post's all done. Are you ready for the market tomorrow? Aye, I think so. I've been rushed off my feet. So, what can we expect from you this year, Pat? Flower pots. Sarah and I are going to paint them this evening. Oh, sounds lovely. Oh, and can you remind the Reverend that he needs to ring the church bells at midday tomorrow for the market to start? Of course. I'll call in on him on my way home. Come on, Jess. Bye, Pat. Sounds like the Reverend's already practising, Jess. Hello, Reverend. Hello, Pat. We just popped in to remind you to ring the bells for the market tomorrow. <laughs> but it looks like you're all set. Indeed I am, Pat. Ringing in the Midsummer Market is one of my favourite Greendale traditions. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Right you are, then. See you tomorrow. These pots look grand. Yes, I almost want to keep them myself. <coughs> no, yes, stop! Yes! Yes. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting ready for the market, Jess. Hello, Ajay. Hello, Alf. Hello. Morning, Pat. Here's your post, Ajay. Thanks, Pat. Hello, Cedric. <laughs> no post for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> Everything all right, Alf? Nay, Pat. Ajay was going to take Cedric on his bike and let him fly home from Pottage Farm. So, what's gone wrong? Can't do it. I've got an important delivery for Pankaster. My last stop is Pottage Farm. Why don't I let Cedric go? Hey, would you? I'd be ever so grateful. Thanks, Pat. I'm just sorry that I couldn't do it. No problem. It'll be a pleasure. Grand. I'll be waiting for him at Thompson Ground. How's Cedric doing, Jess? <coughs> Steady on, yes. Cedric's our guest. Try and be nice. Hello, Julia. Delivery for you. Are you all ready for the market? Yes. I've got cheese, yogurts, and creamy milk fresh this morning. That sounds delicious, Julia. Well, we'd better be off. Bye. Bye, Pat. See you later. Just Cedric to go now, Jess. All we need to do now is find a good place to let him go. This looks like a good spot, Jess. Oh, Cedric. Are you going to fly straight home, then? You are a clever bird. There you go, Cedric. Look at him go, Jess. 
He'll be home at Thompson Ground in no time. Yeah. I wonder if racing pigeons ever get lost and go to the wrong house, Jess. if Reverend Timms knows you're there. Stop! Goodness me, pet. Whatever for? It's Cedric, Alf's racing pigeon. He's up in the bell tower. You can't ring the bells while Cedric is up there. But how will we start the market? Good question. <coughs> hey, oh, Pat, what's going on? Cedric's not come home. Don't worry, Alf. He's all right. He's in the bell tower. But now we can't ring the bells to start the midsummer market. Oh, dear. What about food? Maybe if he's hungry, he'll come down. Nay, nay. I fed him this morning. He won't be hungry again till tomorrow. Well, we can't wait till then. What about my bird kite? Perhaps Cedric will follow it. Well, it's worth a go, Mira. One, two, three, go! Come on, Cedric. Follow the nice bird, eh? I don't think it's working, Mira. I'll try my ladder. Oh, OK. It's no use, I can't reach him. Oh dear, Cedric. How are we going to get you down? And how will we ever start the market without the bells? Wait a minute. I think I might have the answer. Charlie, can I have that clock? I just want to borrow it. It might get Cedric down from the bell tower. Oh, OK. Thank you. What's going on? Pat's trying to catch the pigeon. Why? So the Reverend can ring the bells. Why? Oh, so we can start the market, of course. Oh. I tell you what, let's catch him ourselves. Here we are. This might just do the trick. Come here, Cedric. There's a good lad. Oh, no! I'll catch him for you. Be careful, he's my little angel. There he goes, Reverend. Quick, ring the bell. Don't ring the bells, Reverend. Did you say something? You can't ring the bell. Cedric's back in the tower. Oh, dear. 
Perhaps I can get Cedric down with me singing. He likes that. Perhaps the Reverend can have a go. It's worth a try. Music to soothe the savage beast. The drum's not working, Reverend. Oh, well, uh, I'll try something else. Still nothing. Oh, dear. What next, I wonder? Stop! Stop! Cedric doesn't like it. What about the piano, Reverend? Very well, Pat. But I'm a little rusty. Hmm. How about something like this? Try something a little more lively, Reverend. Lively, eh? How about this? I think it's working. Try something even faster. Even faster? Hmm. Well, if fast is what you want. It's working. Keep going. Cedric. Come here, my precious. Well done, Reverend. It seems you can even charm birds from the trees. Well, from the bell tower at least. Come on, let's ring those bells and get this midsummer market started. <laughs> Bringing the faithful to market. <laughs> Looks like the Reverend likes the bell tower almost as much as Cedric does. Jolly <laughs> good. <laughs> 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 Hello, Ajay. Is something wrong? Aye, Pat. The rocket's going nowhere today. Why not, Ajay? The starting lever's broken. I should have checked it. And now I've got to wait until tomorrow for the new one to be delivered. Oh, dear. Hello, Pat. Morning, Ajay. Hello. I've got a special little passenger for you. Meet Cedric. <laughs> He's a racing pigeon. He can find his way home from anywhere. If he's such a great flyer, why does he need to ride on the train? Well, he's got to go to the vet in Pencaster for a health check before his next race. Sorry, Alf. I can't take Cedric anywhere today. The Greendale rocket's out of action. Oh, dear. If he isn't checked, he can't race. And I can't take him over all those hills to Pencaster. Not in my old tractor. I've got an idea. 
I'll have to take my parcels to Pencaster anyway, so why don't I take Cedric with me? Eee, that's champion. <laughs> Look, Cedric is ready to go. Look after him, Pat. Don't worry, Alf. I will. See you later. <coughs> See you, Cedric. What's up, Arthur? Sorry, Pat. This road's under repair just before the bridge. Oh, no. I'm going to Pencaster that way. You can turn left and go over the hills to Pencaster. It's quite a drive, though. Well, the sooner I start, the sooner I'll get back. Bye, Arthur. Bye, Pat. Look at those beautiful hills. I bet there's not another car around for miles. Oh, it's so peaceful. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've run out of petrol. Don't worry, Jess. All we have to do is wait for someone to come along and give us a hand. I know, Jess. We have been waiting a long time. It looks like we might be stuck up here all night. Two first-class stamps, please, Mrs Goggins. Is Pat back from Pancaster yet? No sign of him at all, Adji. He should be here by now. Any sign of my pigeon, Mrs Goggins? I thought Pat would have had him home by now. He, it's nearly time for his tea. Your Cedric might miss his tea and his supper and all, Alf. I've had to send Pat the hilly way to Pencaster. Oh, dear. My old dad used to call that route the Maisy Way. You can get lost for days up there. Oh, no. If I checked the starting lever on my engine, Pat would never have had to go. Oh, don't worry, Adji. Pat's probably enjoying a lovely drive. Well, it doesn't look as if anyone is going to come by, Jess. Meow. Looks like we're going to be here for the night after all. Meow. Still, it's a warm evening. We can sleep out under the stars. The main problem is... <laughs> what are we going to eat for our supper? <laughs> oh, yes, and Cedric, too. Looks like we're in a right pickle. Any sign of Dad yet, Mum? I want to play Captain Zap with him. No. I wonder what's happened to him. He's never been this late before. Hello? Hello, Sarah. It's Adje. I'm afraid it looks like Pat's broken down somewhere. Mrs Goggin just called the Pencaster Depot and Pat didn't show up there at all today. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Don't worry. Alf, PC Selby and I are all going out now to look for him. Oh, dear. A search party? You'll call me as soon as you find him, won't you, Edgy? Don't worry. We will. Bye, Sarah. Bye. There you are, Cedric. All I've found for us is this old biscuit. Have a nibble, Jess. Meow. Meow. Hmm. Not much of a meal. If only I had my fishing rod and some bait. Here, wait a minute. I might be able to make a fishing rod. Ah, uh, there we are. I could use one of these bendy branches as a rod. Some twine from my post bags for the line. And a paper clip for a hook. Come on, Jess. We're going fishing. 
Caught a catfish already. Until Dad gets back. No, love. You go off to bed. Don't worry. Dad'll be home soon. I hope. Delicious. Meow. Now then, let's try and get some sleep, eh, Jess? Night night. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, silly me. It's only an owl. Night night again, Jess. <laughs> oh, yes, and night night to you too, Cedric. No sign of Pat Alf. Not a sausage. I've been up and down these lanes. Look! There's a light over there. Maybe it's Pat signalling to us. Evening all. Any luck? Oh, it's you, Arthur. We're supposed to be finding Pat, not each other. That's the trouble with the mazy way. These lanes will have you going round in circles. We'll all end up lost if we're not careful. When that moon goes down, it'll be pitch black out here. It might be best to call off the search till morning. I'm afraid you're right. <sighs> Wake up, Jess. It's morning. I haven't got much breakfast for us, Cedric. It's a shame you can't fly back home. Here, wait a minute. That's the answer. It was under my nose all the time. Cedric can rescue us. Now, I'm going to draw a quick picture of where we are. And I'll add a little note. Then fold it up very small. Don't you remember, Jess? Alf said Cedric can always find his way home. Now then, a rubber band. Come on, lad. That's it. So, when Cedric arrives home with this message on him, Alf will read it and know exactly where we are. Off you go, Cedric. Straight home. Good luck. Oh, dear. Poor Pat out in the wilds all night. And Cedric, too. Cedric, is that you? It is you. You found your way home. Hey, up. What's this? It's from Pat. S.O.S. I've run out of petrol. Here's a picture of where I am. Come on, Cedric. Let's go and rescue Pat. Ajay, uh, it's Alf. I know where to find Pat. Thank goodness. Can you race up there on your motorbike and take him some petrol? No problem. Good. Now, listen carefully. I'll give you directions. I 
wonder where Cedric is now. Meow. Listen, Jess. That sounds like... Ajay! Bad. Thank goodness I found you. Are you all right? Fine, Ajay. Am I pleased to see you? Everyone's been looking for you. We got your message. Here's some petrol. Thanks, Ajay. If only the Green Deer rocket had been ready yesterday. I feel like this is all my fault. Nonsense, Ajay. It was my idea to drive over to Pencaster. And we've had a fine old time getting back to nature, haven't we, Jess? Meow. Now you can come straight back to Greendale and tell us all about your adventure. OK, but first I'd better get home to Sarah and Julian. But what about the post? Don't you worry about that. I'll fix up the Greendale rocket this morning and deliver the post to Pancaster later. Thanks, Ajay. Home at last. Dad, oh, you're back. back! You're back! Hello, love. Hi, Julian. Sorry I missed dinner, but I am in time for breakfast, I hope. Oh, Pat. Was it awful? Well, it wasn't so bad. We had a campfire <laughs> and a fish barbecue and slept out under the stars, didn't we, Jess? Meow. Really? Dad, if you ever get stuck out in the wilds again... Yes? Can I come with you? It sounds brilliant! Meow! Meow! Postman, postman pets, can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Meow! Is there a parcel? Meow! Is there a postcard? Meow! What's left? Just the cat.